Wait for it. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. So there have been two amazingly special Sonic uh, announcements today. Sonic Project and Sonic's 25th Anniversary. Now from what I can see from the two trailers, the 25th Anniversary will probably raise a lot more controversy than the project. It seems as though so um, Sega, though, has finally gotten their head out of the damn ass and have decided to actually make a Sonic game that has, that's good. Because obviously the, the Sonic games for the past 20 fucking years have been complete fucking bullshit. So, Sonic Project, from what I can see, almost looks like a movie. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to do. Hopefully good. But Sonic Anniversary, I have some comments to make. Now, the game literally looks like the original three games. Much like this one. But if I was to pinpoint something more specific, it really looks like Sonic CD. Now, these games are going to be for the PlayStation 4. So what I want to know is, like, you know, I do understand that what they're trying to do is cater to everybody, including me, who wants the original games, because the original games are good, we, we love the graphics, we love everything about them. But, that doesn't mean that they have to look like these old games. I mean, yes, this is how we love the games to this very day I'm fucking up. This is how we like these games to, to this very same fucking day, but at the same time, they can be updated and not fail. I mean, if you think about Sonic Generations, which is the only good Sonic game over the past many years, Sonic Generations wasn't 2D, it had side-scroller, but it also had be from behind Sonic. Plus, um, it had the modern Sonic and the good old Sonic as a playable character, it kept, the, it kept the old style, but also updated the graphics, Look, much like Mario Maker or uh, Mario on the Wii on the Wii U. It actually did all that shit. So my question is, yes, we do want the old Sonic, but is it required? Because as I said, many fans love this. But we also love Sonic Generations, and that had up updated graphics. We also did the same thing with Mario on the Wii U, and that worked just fine. So we don't have to have these exact, um, we don't have to have these exact, um, graphics. Um, but if I'm going to be caring to anything, yes, it looks mostly like, uh, Sonic CD. Now, is Sonic CD one of the best Sonic games of all time? Most definitely. But again, the graphics are not required. I just find that to be a little bit unnecessary, like they're trying to cater to the fans too much. But I also understand that because fans have been complaining for like 20 years, including myself. But I'm just saying, if they could do it with Sonic Generations and Mario on the Wii U and with Mario Maker, they can do the same thing with Sonic. It doesn't have to be just like this. And keep in mind, this is also on the PS4, and the graphics really, honest to God, do look like... Like, like if you would have shown me that trailer and I had never played Sonic CD before, I honest to god would have thought it was the Sonic game for the Sonic CD. For the Sega CD. I'm not even fucking kidding. It was that exact. But again, this is not a complaint. It's just more like a why does it need to happen. But generally speaking, fantastic job. Generally speaking, I'm very excited for this game. I think it's going to be amazing. They're going, they're really <laughs> going back to the old style here. But you know what? The simple, the simple fact is this. They have gone back to this style right here because there has been so many complaints about Sonic for so many fucking years that at this point they're like, you know what? Forget it. We're, we're going back to 16-bit. You know, that's basically what they decided on. We're going back to 16-bit. Now, obviously Sonic Project is going to be a, a really modern Sonic game. I mean, it looks like a fucking movie. And as long as it doesn't involve Shadow Sonic with a fucking gun or some bullshit like that, I will actually get that as well. So, that's what I have to say. I'm very excited for both Sonic games, more for the anniversary game because it'll be just like this. And, Sega, thank you so much for finally going back to your roots and realizing that your past many games have all been complete and total fucking epic failure. I am excited. If you yourself would like to see the trailers as well, you can click the link down below. Uh, two links to both Sonic Project as well as Sonic Mania. Uh, Sonic Mania, of course, is the remake of these old games. So, I hope you enjoy, and uh, there you go.